conversation. If I, yeah. if you, if I and don't welcome respond. back to MLG Pro Scrims. I'm Mr. X, kind of joined by Scott Gandhi Lucier, kind of meaning yeah, we don't know. And you know, right now we're jumping right into the game, and the score is going to be three one in favor of Complexity right here on Freight Blitz. And Scott, what do you like about Freight Blitz? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I, I couldn't hear you. Okay. Well, I asked you your opinion on Freight Blitz. You didn't give me one, so I am going to give you my opinion on Freight Blitz. I think Freight Blitz is by far the best Blitz map. I do like Octane. I think Octane, it's a little it's a little bit different from the stand standpoint that it's more about spawn trapping than it really is about just positioning. This map is pretty much just about positioning your players, picking up the holes that they have to fill in just spots on the map, and filling them effectively and just being aggressive throughout the whole time. And you see actually Envy getting extremely aggressive on the complexity base. And we're going to go on board with Rambo. And he's going to be working with Goonjar trying to get a cap. Goonjar gets taken out bottom. But you know, Ray making a smart play going up top Owens. And he's able to get a cap. And that is going to f that is gonna just make the game a lot closer. And the game is going to end because it looks like Crim6 lagged out. It's probably why it ended. Because you can't play three on four. Three on four ain't no funs. And, you know, Scott, it'd be great to have a conversation with you. Because we're probably going to go back to just me sitting at the desk. I really don't know what you want to talk about, Scott. You can't really talk about much. But, yeah, you know, we're just going to go back to me sitting here. And, uh, you know, speak a little bit more about team change, I guess. Uh, I, I did a video with Scott earlier. It's on Scott's channel. You can go check it out. He basically asked me just kind of like no holes barred questions about the change and what led up to the change. And I gave my honest answers about how it all came about, how it started. So you definitely want to go check that out. Uh, yeah, the game's actually starting back up, which is awesome because then I don't have to fill time here talking to you guys. I love talking to you guys. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure all of you love talking to me. You're not really talking to me. I mean, there's a chat. I can't really see the chat. But, you know, we're going to go back into this Freight Blitz. And the spawn that I think is most favorable on this map is going to be the Federation spawn, which is going to be your bottom spawn. You can easily break through the right side, through the cargo, into red, and just gain control of that top uh, red and top Owens and green area, we like to call it. And you can just pretty much just force spawn them in the back left corner of the map. Uh, Ron, if you actually go back into gameplay, I'm going to try to do something cool right here. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. If you can push straight through this area over here, it's obviously non-colored on your screen because in the startup menu, it's not. You can push straight through this area right here, and you want to get up in this lumber. You want to cut off this whole cross right here. You can cut off that whole side of the map. You want to force your players through here, through here. Get over to here. You can spawn kill in this back left. You get guys up top here to jump down, kind of like how we saw Rambo before it restarted. And you can get easy caps. Also, you can get a player laying right here. Watch the cross. If you have a player right there, they will spawn right here. This is where they will spawn 100% of the time. So I'm telling you kind of how we play it. From the side that complexity is on, which is Ghost. You really, you can see as, I mean, we're in this free cam because I kind of like the free cam now. It's kind of cool. I have some ideas that we can use this for that you just want to pretty much just spread it out and just take the lanes of the map. You see TP looks like he's going to be able to push through and get a cap. You really just want to just keep picking up these alleys. As you can see on the mini map, you have all four complexity arrows picking up an alley at each moment in time. You know, unlike CTF where there was a long respawn delay, I mean, it was a five-second respawn delay, but the spawns were a little different. It's a little bit different of a game mode, less aggressive, a little bit, little less aggressive, a little bit more passive. That in a game mode like this, you really want to. You, it's hard to count players. It's hard to say, okay, there's four alive, there's three alive. It's extremely difficult to count players. It's almost near impossible. So, what you want to do on this map is you just want to keep just picking up the spots for somebody. So, when Let's say TP dies middle map, he dies white. Next person who spawns in picks up that white. You know a player is coming through there, he picks up that player. 
it's a constant trading until you get one or two down and then that's when you can get those strong aggressive pushes but i really like this bison play to tp but he's actually he gets turned on a little bit and i'm gonna give some love to envy i want to go on board with envy i love all their players amazing guys just amazing players in general you see Gunjar, he's making a strong play towards the back of the base, and he's taken out. And right there, I would have preferred if Gunjar would have just waited on his teammates. He had a teammate there. Probably, you know, just the communication and just teamwork isn't there right now. You have a roster change in less than 24 hours. Everything's not going to come together like that. And, you know, right there, you would have liked for him to stay level. That's one of the things that we like to talk about is that when your players are moving among the map, you need them to stay level. You can't have one player all the way over deep in the map, and then the other players are just kind of just lamping around the back. You need to stay level, and when you stay level, that that for, that keeps that constant pressure. And that's one of the things I think Envy is going to need to work on is just their pacing of the game. I like the pacing of the game on their cyber domination. As you see Ray getting another cap to make it 4-3, to three. you're not really seeing anybody make any consistent just kind of just run off a few caps right there. But... As I was saying, you'd like to keep that spacing and that pace a lot. I thought Envy's pacing on Domination is a lot like how they used to play. And I think that is a great thing to see if you are them. Because right now, to be honest, these scrims, when you are when you make a roster change, it's not about winning these scrims. It's about getting comfortable with your teammates, making sure the new player feels pretty pretty happy in his role. He's doing his role to what he needs to do. And... That's really the most important thing. You're not focused on, oh, let's beat, let's beat Envy in the scrim tonight. It's not about that. It is about making sure that new players, in particular Gunjar and Karma, are happy, content, and you're, they're, they're playing their role to how you'd want it effectively done. And you're seeing that from both teams. Karma in search and in domination both play exactly how you'd want. Gunjar obviously stepping up and taking Karma's role in the slang department for Team Envious. You know, you you saw that that evolution of Gunjar when he was on TK. You know, it was near the end of TK when obviously he he started to just butt out as a star. I believe TK's owner, uh, I believe his name is Jimmy Kaya Silencer, awesome guy. I believe you heard a lot from him where he was talking about. You know, Goonjar is a budding star, and Goonjar is going to break out, and I think you're going to see that this season. I mean, he is an extremely talented player. He's a little bit a different player than Karma. A little bit more passive. Very good communicator. I think he definitely gives Envy a little different of a look, and I, I, it will definitely be successful for them. And then on the other end, you know, Karma replacing Clayster obviously has been debated if it's going to work if it's not going to work you know when you have a player of karm's talent i mean and he's he's focused on winning it, it's difficult for him not to fit in that's the thing when you when you have three guys who've been playing for together as long as crim teep and aches for as tp sneaks around and gets a, a very nice cap to end those games those are the caps you really can't afford to let up you know, when you have three players to stay together for this long period of time, there's already chemistry there. And to try to work that one guy in, TP almost pulls off an insane three-piece right there. That guy actually, I believe he died and went through the goal. So we're going to go into the second half with complexity with a 10-8 to eight lead. But when you're replacing one guy, it you're kind of just fitting him into a role. And he it's not much of an adjustment period for the other three guys. And it's just some situational awareness and plays. And I think you're going to see that, obviously, about all of the teams that switched. It was really just one player just kind of replacing that other one. And I think you're going to see pretty smooth transitions all about. And it's really just going to come down to I mean, how well how well talked out all of the situations are beforehand. You know, who can just kind of pick up everything the fastest. And I think... I think over the next month it's going to be extreme. it's going to be an awesome month of Call of Duty to watch as you see three players from Complexity going down right off the bat and Rambo is able to get in and get an easy cap and that is very good news for Team Envious because you are able to kind of gain map control looks like if you see on your mini map they have full control of the Complexity base and they're going to get another cap and if you're Complexity right now you need to make the determination do you want to go back and fight your base or do you want to overextend and try and trade caps? And right now, I mean, down one cap, you really, 
you can afford to start trading caps because as I was saying earlier on blitz when you have when you have a player score it's almost like they're they die so if you can get two players down in your base let's say leave the third the third guy gets a cap that's pretty much three dead that's a perfect opportunity to be able to take map control and you see karma starting to do what I was talking about earlier is you know you push through this far right side and now you see the mini the arrows on your mini map they're forced to just kind of look for him and just kind of find where he is you know he's going to be able to get a cap here nobody ain't going to be paying attention and but they're still down what if you are complexity you need to just watch your watch your mini map a little bit more effectively you see you're spawning in the back left you know they're going to be pushing middle and right and you see karma picking up a sick kill right there i believe that was on proof he's sitting in top owens with an ar and you know this is why you make a move for karma i mean he is just flat out i mean without a doubt he is it the best player or one of the best players and i think over time once the teamwork gets there and the chemistry gets there i mean when you have karma and crim six i think that's going to be an insane combination that's going to produce just amazing call of duty gameplay and just produce more championships because that's that's the goal for everybody is to produce more championships and you see ray is going to be able to get another cat right here it looks like he's able to win that gun battle on the flag so you know we're seeing big plays out of Rambo with six caps going plus six also. So, you know, this is really what you like to see out of Ray. And, you know, Ray is the type of player who he's extremely smart. He knows what to do in almost every situation. And it's going to be interesting to see how this team evolves. If they're going to just kind of evolve more around Gunjar or they can obviously evolve more around Ray and take Ray's just kind of guidance and just strategy and really run with that. But with two minutes to go and complexity down three caps, you're going to have to see them get extremely aggressive. You're going to have to see them push very hard at the other team's base. And you see Krim. He's going to push all the way on this far right. It looks like he's going to pick up one in Ray. You know, right now, he's got all four of the enemy squads around him. And, you know, right there, I would have liked to see him just kind of camp originally and not try and fight that first gun battle. And just kind of just work in slowly and wait for his teammates to get a cap. But like I said, when we have, we're on with Envy, we saw the same exact thing. With time, you're going to see these teams figure that type of stuff out. Both teams are way too talented to do that. And, you know, right now, Complexity only down two with a minute 30 left. You know, that's a big gun battle right there that Pat needed to win. And it looks like Merc is going to be able to get a cap. So at this point in the game, if you are Envy, you can trade caps and just win. You have a two cap lead with a minute and 20 to go. It's a good amount of time, although we did see TK come back on us, and that's three down for Envy, so that's not going to be good. If you are Envy, you need to just really hold forward in your base. You can't afford to overextend at this point because you're just kind of getting slayed pretty hard. But, you know, Proofy coming up big right there, picking up two kills. Krim coming back and answering with two kills of his own. And I want to see how... Envy is going to decide to play this. This is interesting. Boomjar could go bottom. He could go get another cap. And he can pretty much just put it away. But right now, I don't know if I like the decision from Envy. It looks like they're going to play extremely passive and just tons of defense in their base. And when you do that, that it lets the other team get in and just pick up some spawn kills. And when that happens, I mean, that'll lead to more caps. But it looks like they might be able to get another cap envy it looks like there's one player working around the base and that's going to be ray and he's going to be able to sneak in and get a cap with 25 seconds left the game is still alive that was a cap with about 26 seconds left so i mean complexity is going to need to get in spawn kill and not let up another cap but it looks like you're going to have Merc get in and get another cap and that is going to put it away so envy is going to win blitz on right and with a score of 17 Oh, 18 to 15. I you know that was huge plays out of Ray. Ray going 27 and 19 with eight caps. I mean, that is just a dominating performance right there. And that was very impressive Blitz gameplay out of Envy. You no, know, perfectly played, extremely smart. They knew exactly what they wanted to do. And you know, from the complexity side, you you started off extremely strong and you just kind of let that let up on the gas pedal a little bit just didn't put enough pressure on and that's really where i think you saw the downfall of that round from them so when we come back for a commercial break we're going to have domination don't know what map wish i could tell you we're going to have domination on a map it's going to be played it's going to be fun 
And then, uh, you know, complexity is up 2-1 to one in the series against Envy. So stay tuned. We're going to have a domination coming up right after this commercial break.